Hello everyone, welcome to Auricular Medicine, brought to you by Lamp Acu Wellness Foundation, Inc. The topic for today's episode is visual diagnosis of the ears. Traditional Chinese medicine holds that the ears are governed by the kidneys, and the kidneys open into the ears. At the same time, the ears are also orifices of the heart, lungs, spleen, and liver. There are abundant vascular nerves beneath the surface of the ears that are inextricably linked with the brain and various parts of the human body. The distribution of related internal organs in the ears follows some rules. In fact, they are arranged on the anterolateral section of the ears, like an upside-down fetus in the womb, with the head facing down, the arms and lower limbs facing up, and the chest and torso in the middle. The color of the ears. Color changes in the ears may suggest certain illnesses. Keep an eye on the color of your ears and attend to any evident color changes. Use the thumb and index finger to pull the auricle against the light. Look straight at the auricle and observe the ear from top to bottom, then front to back. Examine it carefully and when spotting a color change, compare it with the other ear to determine the condition. In general, white is the color of deficiency and cold. Yellow is the color of dampness and spleen disease. Red mainly indicates heat syndrome. Blue signals liver disease, and black mostly points to kidney disease, fluid retention syndrome, and blood stasis. Regardless of what color the ears may look, bright and moist is always a good sign, while dull and shriveling is bad. Once a disease develops, the ear color changes as a result. A bright color suggests a new treatment, while a dull color means the ailment has lasted for some time. Pale auricle. When the auricle looks pale, it indicates deficiency of both chi and blood. Rub the earlobes with your hands, and if they still look pale, it is a sign of anemia. Yellow ears. When the ear looks yellow and the eyes and face also show a yellow tinge, Combined with yellow urine, it usually indicates jaundice. Purplish red earlobe. When the earlobe appears purplish red, accompanied by swelling and even ulcers that turn into scabs easily, this is the result of high blood sugar in the body. Blue auricle. If the auricle appears pure blue, it indicates pain and inflammation in the joints. If the auricle looks so blue that it is almost black, this signals a deficiency of kidney chi. Dark red auricle. If the auricle looks dark red and is accompanied by pain and swelling redness, it indicates hyperactive heat of the liver and gallbladder or fire toxins blazing upward, which is often seen in eczema or otitis media. Another key aspect of diagnostic ear reading is to observe the changes in the physical shape of the ears, whether there are nodules or protrusions, or whether there is a foreign body in the ear, all of which are criteria for diagnosing an ailment. A normal healthy ear should have stiff ear bones and the helix should appear smooth and level, while the auricle is meaty and moist without any nodules. If the ears have bumps or cord-like bumps, spots of depression and a dull appearance, it usually indicates chronic organic diseases such as cirrhosis of the liver and tumors. If there is pus or bleeding in the ear, this is a manifestation of a hyperactive liver and gallbladder heat 
flaring up and more attention is required. A red swelling auricle indicates hyperactivity of wind heat and liver yang, which often result in symptoms such as coughing, a stuffy nose, and headaches. If nodules or cord-like bumps and depressed spots appear in some part of the ear, it may be a sign of cirrhosis of the liver and tumors. A sudden burst of blood that is substantial in volume, accompanied by ear pain, means the liver fire is blazing upward adversely. When the bleeding is gradual and not substantial in volume, it suggests hyperactivity of fire due to yin deficiency. A tiny fleshy growth in the external acoustic meatus that is cherry-shaped with a big head but small stem, also known as hemorrhoid of the ear, is mostly caused by heat toxin in the liver and gallbladder. When there is pus in the ear, it is usually the result of wind heat disturbing upward, damp heat of the liver and gallbladder, or deficiency of the kidney yin leading to the flaring up of deficient fire. Tips for caring for your ears. Pull the earlobe downward. Frequently massaging the ear helps dredge the meridians and channels to enhance the flow of chi and blood, strengthening the kidneys and lower back. You can do this by pulling upward on the apex of the auricle and pulling downward on the earlobe, then pressing the tragus. Tai Chung Point Press knee the Tai Chung Point, an acupoint that soothes the liver, regulates blood, and clears the meridians. The Tai Chung Point is effective for preventing ear bleeding. Frequent massaging of this point helps relieve dizziness, insomnia, and high blood pressure. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope to see you on our next videos.